La Donna, Charlene Hi. Vula, yes. La Char Vu. Very cool. You, you guys were standing around the wrong way when we first started <laughs> this. And, so uh, and it's funny because like with Ant and Deck, you always get Ant oh, and Deck. Really? Yeah, so yeah, you've got to do like that. that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> enough of that. You've just come off main stage. Yes. So your first, you know, real big gig. Amazing. Tell us about it. How did it go? It was absolutely amazing. My first time at the festival and seriously, I would come back every year just because of that amazing crowd. Oh. Is there something in particular that was special whilst you were up there that you noticed? Um, I really enjoyed when we did our original material, the reception that we got, which was great because obviously when we've been doing gigs in the past, we've done a lot of covers, mm -hmm. um, but we're writing now. So hopefully we'll have a whole set of originals to do for you guys. But yeah. that was an amazing moment when we sang our, our one of our originals at the end and everybody yeah. just oh, kicked man. off. It was great. I think that's the thing that you'll find here. There's a crowd that really is looking for something new as well. Of course they want to hear hits, yeah. but they they're also have their minds open to something new. Uh, uh, now, Vila, you know, strangers to being on, on, on big stages, but now you've got this act um, going that really seems to be going places. Are you, yeah. you really fired up for it? Absolutely. And I mean, the fact that I'm actually doing it with experienced people as well, because I mean, yeah. this is definitely what I would say is the best crowd Le Chavu has had. Yeah. And it's couldn't ask for anything more. It was yeah. such an incredible day with the sun out and my face, Steve. Now, I know that uh, my sort of uh, namesake, Natalie Williams, has been very big yeah. in, in bringing you um, forward. But yeah. just give me a brief thing on the history, because you guys go way back um, to singing gospel. Is that right? Oh, history yeah. of us? Uh, yes. Oh, well, yeah, I was raised um, in a gospel choir, actually. My mum was the director of the Majestic Singers in Birmingham, one of the first um, mass choirs in the UK back in the 80s, well, before I was born, in the 70s, actually. Really, yeah. yeah. So I was raised singing, basically. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, in church, yeah. out of church, everywhere. And, and and how did you all, all three of you end up together? Well, um, you tell this story because you tell it the best. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we um, we all met at different points, but what we what brought us together was a night that Michelle Escoffrey put together called what was it called again? Kindred Spirit. Kindred Spirit, and she asked the three of us to come down and do some backing vocals for her for the night. And it was when we were rehearsing that we kind of realised that we had something that when we sang together it was a bit amazing yeah. <laughs> a bit and a lot <laughs> <laughs> yeah because you all sung with loads of other people what, what's the special thing what, what's happening when the three of you are together I don't even know I think it's um, we've all sung with lots of different people doing backing vocals with different people sometimes singing with guys sometimes singing with other girls but I don't know what it is there's just definitely something special about the way we sound together like um, Vula's voice is quite high Madonna's voice is quite low and mine's in the ground <laughs> <So>. <laughs> <laughs> when everything comes together it's like we complement yeah. each other I know sometimes when you sing with other people people kind of just want to be heard or yeah. they want their voices to sound the loudest or they feel like their part's more important but we found a way to just kind of sit and it happened immediately there wasn't really any right. practicing it just happened so, so there's no fighting very special <laughs> no, no, no not yet no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, so I mean we, so we've had a, a lovely show from you here but I guess you. what uh, people would like to know is is there going to be a recording at any stage absolutely we did um, a pledge campaign um, which, which we fulfilled it's still open and people can still pledge if you go to pledgemusic.com forward slash the forward Shavu, slash yeah. the Shavu. but we actually fulfilled our target mm -hmm. like two weeks before Great. you know the end and so because of that we're able to actually do put a project together mm -hmm. which we're hoping to release in November Great. which is amazing and um, we've got loads of um, gigs coming up I know we're supporting um, Average White Band as part of the London Jazz Festival um, and we're it's been announced that we will be special guests with um, Robert Glasper Experiment um, cool. at the, for the Somerset House series Somerset well. House yeah and I've got a, a fly in my face hold on oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can feel it yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sorry you had to go yeah. um, but and, and then we've got our own gigs coming up soon which will be announced yeah. whether it's at the end of the year or at the beginning I'm not quite sure but we're really concentrating on making sure we give you the best quality music with this project which you guys have put so much faith and love into us and said yeah go on and do it so we going to do it <laughs> all right then go on there do it yeah. like Charvu, fantastic go on give them a round of applause Yay. thanks for having us Jazz Thank you. Brilliant. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you.